Why, why was the opening of the account coming late? Why didn't they come when the Ogoni cleanup was to be flagged off? Because when you're telling the people you're flagging off something, it means that you're, you're kick-starting. Okay. So, and that's exactly what, what, what happened. Now, for you to start you, you, a process... You don't think I'm, I'm wrong. with you. I'm, I'm with you. For you to start a process, for you to do something, you must start a process. And it started with the, with the flag off. It was it followed by putting up, all, putting up and inaugurating all the institutions that will be used for the project, of which the BOT was one. If the BOT did you, not you, exist, you, you, the, you the about BOT, the up BOT, an escrow the, that, exactly, I'm coming there. The BOT's job is to set up the account that will access that money. So without the flag off, without the BOT, then how will we get a system I'm just that will access asking, the funds? I'm just wondering, but, uh, but I'm why would it have to take up to a year well, to set up an escrow account? Es because there are a sequence of activities that need to be carried out. The financial experts will explain how that works. Okay, But what I'm explaining here is that the commitment of the government has been kept. There is a project office. We are in the field. As I speak to you, we are carrying out delineation in all the sites that will be remediated in the first phase. How we many, are, we how, marked how, out, how, how many sites We have marked out access? 26 sites. There are far more sites to be done. So you still have a long way to go? We have a long way because so there's is, so much no, work let, let, Let's just go by simple arithmetic yes. now. So if it has taken you almost two years to... To assess 24 it has, it has sites taken, out of 64 it, no, sites, no, it has taken and a, you are promising please, Nigerians that you see, will be um, it, it, kicking off the remediation by September. It has taken us the last three months to access what we are doing now, to do the delineation. As a matter of fact, the last two months. And what that means is this. Giving the right structure, giving the right thing, which is what we've been doing all this while, giving the right planning, which might to you seem so late, once you're ready, you can hit the ground and take out those sites almost instantaneously. But do you, do you the think, the, do, do you think the JV partners are impressed with the arrangement coming from well, the well, But this is exactly what I'm saying. You see, you, you see the, the, we, we have a team in place, and you're trying to isolate and break this team. The team has the IOCs, it has the community, it has the government as one solid team with full commitment to implement this project. With, so with, nobody with, is isolated. With, with each one having their own terms. And expectations. No, everyone buried and glued to the implementation of the report as stated in the Gazette. The with Gazette each, is the government. With each of the JV partners having their own no, clearly the, cut the, out well, this, this mandates. One the IOCs are represented as a team. They are the IOCs and they are represented on the governing council as well as on the board of trustees. Now, every decision taken is jointly taken. So you couldn't isolate this group from that group. The team working in high prep, the high prep gazette. So if the if the if the president promised to release two hundred million dollars every month, every year for a period of five years, and he hasn't released anything because again, there's again, no you, 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 you will be wrong to say that there is a process, there is a legitimate process to accessing that fund, and that is what the board of trustees have done, and and they have it, to show the government commitment. It was done in the presence of the vice president. How, what level of commitment would you expect for a project like this? So now, um, factoring or uh, bearing any unforeseen circumstance now, when is the cleanup, the actual remediation, as in we want to see polluted sites being cleaned? As I'm I want to us you, to break it down now for Nigerians to know, Mr. especially the people of Ugoni to Mr. know, Ashiro, as when as, as are as you... Starting, Mr. Shiro. I don't want soil analysis Mr. or Shiro, ground testing. Yeah, yeah, this is exactly the answer to your question. The okay. answer to your question is that by October, we're going to, we would have concluded a process that will allow for contractors to be in the field to do that last phase, which you call actual remediation. But as I speak to you, our scientists are in the field doing all the work they need to do to characterize, to scope, to delineate, and define the contamination boundaries of each of these sites. So let's come back to the issue of money again. Um, there is a report that um, the money given by Shell, the $10 million has been invested by IPRI. Is that true? $10 million was given for us to take off. Today, the project has taken off. Every account of $10 million is intact. For people who are interested in it, the board of trustees that received this money, they are available to give you a naira by naira account of the money spent. Looking back now, would it be right to say the old draft of UNEP report was a faulty draft? 
the, the draft of unit report remains the cornerstone for remediation in Ogoni land and in Niger Delta. It is one of the most valuable documents ever produced to restore environment in this place. The unit report is very clear. They give a very clear set of recommendations to government, to IOCs, to the community, and to all of us, because we're all stakeholders. Was there an investment? Was money invested? Was part of the proceeds given to Hyprep invested? You, 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 you keep going back to money. Board of Trustees' um, responsibility is to hold money, receive money, and hold it. They manage the finances. High Prep does not have the mandate. It's not an investment company. We need all the money we can get to get into the field and do the work. And that is what Money Central High Prep is being used for. Okay, I understand where you're coming from now. The, the Board of Trustees in charge of High Prep that manages the finances, that determines the approval of funds, did they at any point in time invest part of these funds? Because the money is not meant for investment. There is, it was meant, money is meant for set up the office. Today we have an office that is set up. The initial $10 million we're talking about was to set up high prep office. It was a take off money. It wasn't money for investment and nobody has invested money other than the purpose for which it was meant for. Before we wind down this conversation now, um, I, I know you've done a lot on sensitization now, but um, considering the expectations of the people, uh, you, you live with them, you see the pains, mm. the frustration, the agony of an average Ogoni person. Do you think with, 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 with what is, exp with, with the demand of remediation, not to, let alone restoration, how do you feel that you've not been able to work as fast as these people expect? Our message to them is that we have the commitment of the government of President Buhari to do this. And we are in the field doing this for you. All we need is your patience, your cooperation, and we have so much of that. We want to go down the road of professionalism. We want to go down the road of accountability. And all funds channeled to this project it will be judiciously and is judiciously used for the project. Mr. Marvin Berenem Dekel, the project coordinator of the Hydrocarbon Pollution Remediation Project, High Prep. Thank you so much for making our time to be part of this episode of Question Time. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Mr. Asheru. Thank you so much for inviting me. Thank you. And that's it on this episode of Question Time from Channels Television. Now, let me take you up on this. What you take on the federal government's effort at the cleanup exercise in Ogoni Land. Send us your comments on our social media platforms showing on your screen. Join us next week on another fresh episode of the show. Many thanks for watching. I'm Benga Ashiro. Bye for now.